Hi, welcome to Knits Up. I'm Mindy, your hostess, otherwise known as Knitter CNY. You can find me on Ravelry and Instagram as Knitter CNY. I've tried to update the uh, pictures on Instagram, posting projects I'm working on, and I've also done some project pages for Ravelry as well. So if you're interested in any of the things I talk about, you can find the link to the patterns there on Ravelry. So, what have I been working on this week? Well, I have two finished objects and one work in progress. So, and I apologize for the wet hair I just got out of the shower. So I am just trying to make it through the day. And it's a Sunday, it's Palm Sunday. It's nice out. Um, it was nicer yesterday in the 60s, but it's beautiful sunshine today. I have a drumline competition to go to. And uh, so I'm going to be recording a very short podcast. Welcome in if you are a returning subscriber. Also welcome in if you are new to this podcast. If you like what you see, please put a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. I have back episodes for years. Uh, so you can see what kind of projects I do, how I podcast, and if that's something you're interested in, you, you're more than welcome to subscribe. I don't make my living from this, I just do it for fun and kind of as motivation to work on my projects. So, all that being said, you're here to see yarn and you're here to see projects. So, I was working on socks last week, I finished them aside from weaving in the ends. This is Peyton's Northern Lights, uh, Peyton's Croy Northern Lights. And I used a little bit of muslin color on the heels. So these are done. These are for me. They will go in basically sock rotation for next year. I have a whole bunch of other sock yarn up here. Um, that's Peyton's Croy. I have four different color ways that I got at the Hobby Lobby clearance sale. So I am going to have plenty of socks to have in the rotation. Now the other thing that I'm working on, or I should say the other thing I finished and we wove in the ends is this. This is again, my favorite granny square, granny rectangle blanket called the all for one crochet blanket from uh, Yarnspirations. If you look all for one crochet blanket, just Google that, you'll come up with a pattern. And it's an easy rectangle blanket. I used two skeins of Yarn Bee Sugar Wheel in the color Blueberry Cream. And I happen to match my centers to the outside. So the center of my last ball would match the ending thread of my first ball. So I was able to do a smooth color transition. Um, and I think it turned out pretty well. This is going to be for charity. Um, I'm not sure where it's going yet, but I'm going to make a pile of these out of sugar wheel and also the cotton that I got. Um, so I have two more sugar wheels and three sets of cotton and also a set of um, roll with its sparkle. Um, the Hobby Lobby clearance yarns are here. This set with the roll with it was from Ollie's when I got it on sale. And the last thing I'm working on is a work in progress. It is out of Homespun. This is old, old stash. You can tell this is old stash because it's from Walmart and it was when it was $3.50. I don't think you could buy it for that price any place these days. I think it's going for about $8 or $9 a skein. I could be wrong on that. But at least, at least $7 to $8. Um, and this color is called Tudor. Um, it's a little bit fuzzy because it's been in the stash for so long, but um, it's going to make a cute charity blanket. Um, I'll wash it 
obviously before it goes. Um, and this is a simple pattern that starts off with four stitches and you do an increase on each side until you use up one skein and then you start doing the decreases. You may recognize this as your typical diamond dishcloth pattern. So that color comes out with stripes. It looks really pretty. I have about four more skeins of homespun in my stash that I'm going to use up using this diagonal baby blanket pattern. It's pretty easy to do and I'm using seven millimeter needles because that's what I had in the stash. Um, I opened them up. I must have bought them at some point when Amazon was having a sale and that's what I had so that's what I used. It's a little bigger than a, than a um, 10 and a half millimeter needle. So, sorry, it's bigger than a 10 and a half US needle. But that's all that I'm working on. Probably I'll start something else during the week if I get the baby blanket done because I started the baby blanket last night and I'm already almost halfway through it. That goes really fast on seven millimeter needles. So that's what I'm working on. I hope you've enjoyed this podcast and I hope you guys have a great week. Go craft something because it's good for your mental health. I'll see you next week.